Hey, I'm Fish. I got some things to say that may make sense or not, but we'll get this camera organized in the way we want it. I rechecked my uh, customs. I'm on bike two. And the thing I did different is I'm using Horizon Balance. I'm sorry, but when I use Rocksteady, I have a little bit of issues of it not being level. I kind of like, uh, I can see my movements uh, pitching left and right. We call that rolling because a barrel roll is like this, going around. I'm on bike, so that would be mm, rock steady. And rock steady, I'm not moving my hand at all. I'm holding it level. I'm going to tilt it, roll it. And you're going to see me moving. I kind of like, don't like that motion or that setting right now. 18 seconds. We heard complaints that we get rolling. Yes, indeed. Am I in 18 seconds? Just about. Uh, all my shots are done within 18 seconds. So they have to work for me. I'm on firmware V01.05.20, and we all know 3.0 come out pretty soon. So this is a daytime shot with the sun up at about 10, 11, but at 12 o'clock position like that. Not like this, not like that, but like that. I'm gonna do a nice sample shot over here, pull over, and put the camera down and let it film for a couple of seconds. This is with horizon balance on. A 20 second shot, looking out at the sound. What we're gonna do is change over to rock steady and not touch the camera. But I am gonna put my hand in the front so you see me like grabbing the camera and lifting it up. And did anything move incorrectly? This is with Rocksteady only. And it's going to be the same scenario. Give you a couple of seconds of the shot. Then I'm going to grab the camera. As I get motion to the camera, my hand, the camera may move, but I'm not yet picking it up. And then when I pick it up, you're going to see the difference in the movement like I just did before. So here's my hand coming to the camera, grabbing it, and then lifting up. What type of movements did we see? Did you see the camera go move before I get to it, during it, and afterwards? You know what I mean. Now, in my test, when I do things like that, what I've noticed is that when I start to go for the camera, it kind of knows what I'm doing and it wants to move. That's the gyro I'm talking about. So is the gyro perfect? Oh well, yeah, that time is coming. And this is when you want the camera to be at its best. When holiday time comes and the Christmas light shows, that's when the camera shines the best to see those shots. And that's what we're hoping for, that this camera gets right up there sooner than later. The horse came out, the goat's in the distance. A nice slow pan. And the Tamarama Louise is out. I should look more into some of the details about the camera and get it out there and concentrate on certain things so I could share my fun. And that's what I do. I don't try to look for the issues. I try to say, hey, you know, that clock in the camera, not good, man. Timer shooting. If I want to set it up, it only worked once. And I have agreement that factory reset doesn't help. Get it to work once again, 
I don't have hours on end just to get it to work the next time because I miss all those shots. Well, the horse is out. I'm going to long press on the camera and I'm going to zoom in, try to get a zoom in shot. And I can't see what I'm doing. And there we go. Zooming in and just doesn't work the way I want it to do. With the nice round thing. There we go. Get a picture of the horse with the maximum amount of digital zoom. I don't love digital zoom. I had to remember to take it off a digital zoom, bring it back. It doesn't go back by itself. So don't forget to zoom it back out. I switched off AI noise reduction. We have the ability to do standard and another one not with the external mic, but I have the ability to change the game control while recording. We have a baseball game going. A nice day at the park for sure. And yeah, good day to capture some film and getting out there. While the sun's in my eyes and not your eyes, you get an idea how this camera works low light and bright light. We hear that using HDR may not be the best. We don't have a control over it in regular mode if HDR is up to 15 stops. We just have HDR to choose H-Log. And yeah, it kind of dims down. It kind of softens the video, but Regular bright mode? I haven't even tried flat yet. I'm not interested in doing color grading on my own. Because my editor, Wondershare for more 13, eh, it's all right. Just all right. This is what is called D Log M manual. Basically, it's black and white, but tamed down with color. Just a little color, so you can go into your LUTs and pick the color that you see there. What color is the fence? Uh, Heinz mustard. What color is the grass? Uh, medium green with brownish. What color is metal? Galvanized aluminum. What color is my shirt? Go online and check out Eddie Bauer. It's a gray. What color is my skin? Tan. Maybe a little hint of brown when looking through, but uh, paleness right now. What color is my helmet? A satin black with white, a milk white, not a bright or gloss, a semi gloss. No gloss, satin here, so it is a black. D log M. If I color grade and try to get this bronze like a uh, ribbon for a, uh, a ground that's made of copper, that's the color. This is a velvet black and this is a satin black. And that's the color we're concentrating on. And this is like a, uh, a chalky white color. Oh man, I'm too lazy to go back to make another video, but I'll 50% uh, the screen of me color grading and leaving it as is, and you decide which of the three, D log M or this. What I should do is, is basically do some Google Drive sample shots for anyone that wants the camera, but I'll do that later on. Stationary shot, D log M. We'll take a photo, compare it to the regular 10 bit color. Test one, two, three. This is 10 bit color, normal. Compare it to D log M, take a photo. This way you can compare the shot that you like of the helmet. Test one, two, three. Maybe in the future, 
we'll have the wide with horizon balance. Instead of having, what is it, 40% uh, tilt, 35, we can have half of that. I don't need to have a lot of tilt, just a little bit. Would that be possible to do? So this way when you hold the camera the best you can in wide mode, I think that would be possible for sure. Well, I did a lot of videos, samples, this and that, and talk, and I hope it was to your liking. I'm going to finish off on the bike ride with my nice mount I made. And the last clip I want to do is subject tracking. Beginning to like that. Subject tracking, image stabilization is used. But is horizon balance used and we're cropped in? That's the ultimate question. I'm going to stop the video and see if I do have that in and reset up. I remember earlier on I said we don't have control of electronic image stabilization shown. It's taken away. doesn't show it. DJI, you need to put it in there and gray it out and say it's disabled. Heck, got to do it all, right, man? I can only go so far this way out of the camera, and only so far that way, and only so far up this way. How far can I go up? I turn around, will it pick me up? Well, I'm ready to get on out of here and go finish my ride, put it on the bike. I did all my tests and all. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Let's get on out. I had a good time. I had good fun shooting video, sharing it to you, hoping that it made some sense. Well, Horizon Balance does a good job because when we turn, want to be level and that's what we're doing well the only test I need to do now is I want to do a hyperlapse and with DJI and hyperlapse the problem is you don't know which is uh, real time and which is hyperlapse so let's switch on over Hopefully I'm on real time. Hard to see if I clicked it or not. The way hyperlapse switch works from the left to the right is real, and from the right to the left is hyperlapse. You have to get used to hyperlapse. If you're biking and the sun's really powerful, you're not going to see if you're hitting the real time or not. Well, that's the show for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed everything. I'll switch my bit rate settings on the editor to uh, highest matching level. If we're on 100 bit rate, I'll bring it to 100 bit rate. Let's hit that cup. We'll finalize our video on bike mode number two, which is with horizon balance. The sun behind the building and coming out, the trees above. And the video should really be pretty bright indeed. If you're after a DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro and you're undecided and you don't own a DJI product, there's really no hesitation. 
But if you have an existing one from a one or a three you want to update, then you have to make a decision if it's time to update. And if you're coming from a GoPro or an Insta, the same thing. Everybody's going to say what they say and what they like and dislike a love and hate relationship. Just make the decision right for yourself. And on that note, I'm Fish, and I'll catch you on many other videos to come.